Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon Black 2 and White 2. Last time we made our way through Twist Mountain and a little bit beyond that too. Now, need to heal up at the Pokemon Center as we did quite a lot of fighting before. And uh, yeah, I was a little vague about what exactly we're doing today. We got a quick vacation destination at Gear Station. I gave this a lot of thought, and I was mentioning that I think I wanted to get some BP and, uh, you know, do some things here. If we go to the singles train and we get 21 consecutive wins, which I just so happen to have 14 already, something good will happen. As the BP is specifically to power up Harmony, I thought it would be kind of wrong if we didn't involve her in our team in some way, shape, or form, so she's definitely in. Question is, who should our other two Pokemon be? Let's go McFly as our lead. Aiden, Harmony. We have two weak to electric. Aiden covers the ice weakness for Harmony well and has a lot of special defense if we happen to fight ghosts. Um, we could swap into Psychic and resist it with Harmony. Our other two take normal damage from fighting. Harmony Quad resists it. Rock is a little bit of a sour spot, but we at least have good offensive options against it. Let's see what happens. Are you serious? It beat Aiden by flinching him and then being able to attack first. It outsped McFly and got a critical hit. And that move is super effective on Harmony. And you outspeed him! How are you this fast? You're a Simi Seer! You're supposed to. Quit it! This was the first battle? Well, f you too! What an asshole! No! I would very much not like to save that as a battle video! Lucky me, I get a public record of this fight existing forever and ever! Well, gee, I thought it'd be a fun idea to try to get to the battle subway bosses, and then that happened. We hope to see we get... <sighs> Whatever. How much BP do I even have? Six. And, uh... I need... Six. Hundred. No, I, I only need, uh... I need 24. It's the most expensive item here. I didn't mention this before, but a lot of BP items have had their prices reduced. Uh, in addition to there being more ways of getting them, such as the put. So, uh, it is easier to get items that you want to get. I can't believe we lost that. Really? I was thinking, like, well, our team's got more or less their final move sets, and they were EV trained, so it makes sense, and, you know, it'll be easy. Nope. This is not a coincidence. This is not an accident. This is active targeted bullying. Simi Seer was mad about me talking shit for the last how many years? And it's bloodthirsty for revenge. I've gotten up to 14 wins again. I've gone on with the same team again, and we're gonna see what happens. If I lose this and don't get the win against the battle subway boss, I'm gonna take a hint, we're gonna move on. Thank- I saw it, that began with an S, and I thought it, thankfully no. Good lead, though. What?! You got a critical hit?! That's- uh <sighs> No joke, that's the third consecutive critical hit my opponent has gotten on me in here if we're going off of these recordings. Like, just, how does that even happen? I think we just lost. That's a huge bite of my team taken out. Aiden does not have the best physical bulk. This is gonna be a fight to turn this around. Oh, look, I got a critical hit, finally, right? Uh, I think I just lost. This is the... Tim did this during the main story and had no trouble at all beating the subway boss. Oh, 
you don't hit very hard. Oh, I might just maybe be able to keep my health recovered. Critical hit special drop. Thanks, buddy. Your last Pokemon's not even fully evolved, and I've been having this much trouble. He used that on... <laughs> This is just sad that I thought I was going to struggle against this. I was genuinely scared of you having something good for your last Pokemon. Jellison's pretty big competitively. Also, you had three water types, which is generally a pretty big weakness for my team without uh, McFly around. I've officially done infinity times better than I did the first time. We've made it to round two. <laughs> What is it with you people having Dewats and water types? And you have a Swana too? <laughs> what, were they just handing out the same Pokemon to everyone today or something? Or what did like 90% of the cast stay home sick or something? Round three led with a Dino. This, uh, I must've been getting horrible luck though. Cause the difficulty really has not been, Ferrasi? <laughs> The difficulty has not been all that bad. I've just been getting critted and flinched a lot at really unlucky moments. Oh, it was a Zor. <laughs> so that means I know what your last teammate is. So uh, Harmony, go out there and heat wave it. Easy victory. Oh, it's Phyllis now. It's getting tougher. No, 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 no. You got two criticals in a, how is this remotely fair? Two criticals in a, every time. Scald. Okay, how much is this, what is this damage? Okay, I can take another one after this. It'd still be fine. No. I have not fished for a successful Scald once, and I've used it like six times. All right, that's a respectable amount of health on my last Pokemon. Get out of here, thank you. And I have like 90 something health, I'm pretty sure. 93. Sigil. I hate you, I hate you so much. At least I have high special defense. Which one of these is higher power? 95, 80, okay. Just making very, very sure before I click this button. Energy ball, of course you do. I'm out of here, good night. Two criticals in a row, deciding both. I can't do it. <laughs> okay, well I was certain that we would be able to get the single one just fine. I was worried about the other ones. Apparently, I didn't need to be. I want to feel lucky about something. We'll try this on the way. Max revive. That's fine. Whoever thought this was a good idea needs to have their laundry done with no dryer sheet. I don't usually fall for that one. Surprises me a little bit. So what are we doing today exactly? I'm here to tell you that we are all done with the mainland. All of this ring, we're done. We have only yet to explore this peninsula over here. And we were told that our ultimate goal should be New Vemetown to go see Professor Juniper after we caught Kyurem all that time ago. There was just so much for us to do all before that. Hello, if you cross Skyward Verge on this side, you will reach Pinwheel Forest and Nakreen City. Away we go to the beginning of where Unova started, really. The beginning of our last adventure. Goodbye, Castelia City. Goodbye, old me. Aww. <laughs> She's got a backpack full of all of her things. Hello. Excuse me. I'm terribly sorry to ask, but will you buy a bottle of fresh water for $300? Um, sure. Just don't vent it out of your mouth, buddy. You bought it more expensive than usual. What a generous person you are. I'll never forget your kindness for the rest of my life. I'm so glad that my kindness was so memorable to you. That's all I'm getting out of this. 
You don't get anything else for doing it multiple times either. Oh, he didn't even commend me for my kindness the second time. He's like, ah, what a sucker. Ah, that man! He's standing right in the middle of the sky or a bridge, I think. He actually is. He is perfectly on the square that is right in the middle of the bridge. This place is based on the Brooklyn Bridge. Oh, oh, so thirsty. Give me fresh water. Refreshed. I'm 100% rehydrated. I feel better now. Thank you. I'll dash to the next bridge. Zoom. We'll want to follow him over to Driftvale Drawbridge. We were done with the mainland, but it wasn't done with us. <sighs> panting, panting, I'm thirsty. I met you on the Skyar Bridge. G give me fresh water. Refreshed! I'm gonna present hydrated, I feel better now, thank you! Oh, that's the next bridge! Boom! The order is exactly what you think it is from here. He goes around in a circle. Lasagna gets to level 64 on the way. <laughs> This officially means something more than the crappy potion or whatever they're going to give us for doing this. You're just in the halfway point of every bridge. I met you on Driven Average. G give me fresh water, but you... Oh, no. I don't have any fresh... No! I thought I... Okay, no. This is easy. This is easily fixed. There's vending machines right out on Route 9 nearby. I'll dash to the next bridge! I swear he got exponentially faster to make that cutscene not take forever. Ah, uh, the stairs made it so you couldn't get to the halfway point. Uh, I think it's this guy. Yeah, it's him. No, I'll leave for the marine tube. What truly is a marine tube besides a bridge? It's just not one in the sense that you expect as a land dweller, but the purpose is all the same. Refreshed! I'll dash to the next bridge! I'm guessing you're going back to Sky Arrow. Oh, there's Basculin here now. I don't think we got to see that before. See him up close anyway. Yay, I ran on all the bridges in the Unova region! It's all thanks to you! Please accept these! Moo Moo Milks! That's it. <laughs> Fun little side quests. Could have gone without, I guess. The curve here is like, Yerk! and then you pass the curve and whoosh, zoom. Do you understand the dialect of Goldenrod City? Man, I remember as a kid waiting for Ash and his friends to get to Goldenrod City and it genuinely feeling like they would never get there. Maybe I should not go too deep into that in case I ever do a Johto Let's Play someday. They say Skyrim Bridge is built as a result of the tireless pursuit of a safe and sturdy structure. I wonder what kind of Pokemon built it or how they were building it. I, I know I already did a Johto series, but you know what I mean. Use Fly, you'll be there in no time. People prefer to cross the bridge to go to Castelia City. Welcome to this little place that made a reappearance in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. This is where you fight Victini in those games. And to Pinwheel Forest. Oh, you are a trainer. Shoot. Forest full of little hollows and hillocks and walking in it is so fun. And you know, having Pokemon battles is even more fun. I have not healed up my crustal. This is bad. Okay, well, while we're waiting to freaking lose, we got a few new encounters here in Pinwheel Forest that I wanted to talk about. We're starting off with Yanma, the worst of all types and horrible stats. Made a lot better by the uncommon speed boost ability and its evolution. Lack of mood diversity would be Yanmega's biggest sin, but is strangely kind of a good thing here because it's so easy to justify giving a slot to protect, allowing you to scout the enemy on a free turn and get an instant plus one to the speed. Besides that, it uses Bug Buzz, Air Slash, and Giga Drain. Maybe ancient power, probably not. Hypnosis would be a great option for it to pick up speed with if it were just better than 60%. I still miss the beast that was Yon Mega pre platinum. Toxicroak! Hey, actually, a good poison type. I've always wanted to use one of these. Starting off, it's a physical attacker with bulk up or swords dance for buffing moves, whichever you prefer. Its type comes equipped with six resistances and only three weaknesses, so it's. Not purely unfounded to say it could take a few punches after bulking up. Toxicroak should always be in rain if it can help it, meaning it's got a friend with benefits with Politoed. Um, 
In rain, it recovers health every turn. The fire weakness from dry skin is offset and it doesn't have to put up with the enemy benefiting from stronger water moves because it's immune. All of this and we're just now getting to the best part, the moves. It's got it all. Multiple good options are poison, fighting, and even dark. Earthquake and Rock Slide there are there too if you don't already have a user for those. But I think the best stuff is elemental punches from the move tutors or even regenerating with Drain Punch. It's a pretty great user of Sucker Punch too. Getting smacked around by a freaking cow. Mill Tank is, well, a tank. This is going uh, pretty, oh, Gyro Ball. You're faster than me, aren't you? Yeah, that does nothing. I'm also slower than a freaking cow. I mean, it is a literal roadblock, so I don't know what I expected. It smacked around a little bit more. And there you go. You're a childish and adult all together in one. Legendary Pokemon. Is it true it was really beyond here? This guy won't move out of my way. I want to try coming back here with uh, Verizon to see if that happens, because it is where you fought it in the last game. Instead of a Dragon-type Pokemon, I found myself a spectacular trainer. Why, thank you. Trying that again. Hey, yes, you. Hey, nice timing. I heard Team Plasma was seen in Pinwheel Forest. Could you help me look for him? Thank you. This is a good opportunity for me to see up close what you can really do. I suppose I'll follow your lead. Leave recovery to me. Got another party member. Trainer tips. A forest is likely to contain many well-hidden items. Yes. Yes, you're right. We'll be very careful to do that. Get a double battle between a nursery aide is your trainer class name. Everyone sit down and shut up. <laughs> nice. Hey you, you're gonna lose and cry. <laughs> the lines they give these people is just awesome. Just reminds me of all those days back in school. Um, my teacher called them no fluff days where they just give you a textbook. They tell you to write down a bunch of facts and you don't get to do any talking. It's days when you're really bad and Nothing seems to come together. Intimidate on a Chansey, but Intimidate on a Pineco, which might have had self-destruct. I'm gonna go for the Shell Smash on myself. I always thought it was so silly how you have to select yourself as the target when a move can only select you as the target. It was just easier to program it that way for moves like Acupressure to let you buff your um, opponents. Just because those moves exist, it's easier to program it that way for all status moves. Shell Smash! And we're gonna be so good to just take all of you people. I, I, well, not if you do that. Lee Vanny looks like a prime time to do a rock slide. My fastest? Yeah, I am. Go. Pineco was able to take it. Oh, you have sturdy. I thought that was just Fortress, and you had Swarm or something for your ability. Level sixty-five for a lasagna. Strength will finish you off. And only one Pokemon left to go against two. It's always the saddest feeling in a double battle whenever you got one Pokemon left. Ferrothorn. I'll go, I'll go Earthquake. Oh crap, that's gonna hurt Stoutland, right? <laughs> oh well, it's okay, Cherry. And you got like five other Pokemon, right? It'll be fine. Oh, critical hit, nice. See, I... You can see what I can really do. I just know when I'm going to get crit crits ahead of time. I'm very experienced in that field of work. Uh, we'll go over this way. Wow, that was close. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Uh, get over here. Get a max repel. Make it for all those ones that we get. Going over. Yeah, use another one. That's a Pokemon Ranger over there. The rustling grass in Pinwheel Forest is kind of of note. It is, the, it is the home to the highest level Audino in all of Unova. If you are playing Black 2, they'll be level 64. In White 2, they're only 57. It's weird, it's an oversight, it's probably not meant to be that way. It seems like this would be the place to train and level up out of all the places in Unova, given that that is just what you do a lot of the time, but no. Audino only appears on a coin flip encounter rate, and there's more consistent areas to find it at high enough levels that are not quite this high. So you end up coming out with a lot more experience points per hour by just hunting it in other spots. But generally speaking, this peninsula that we're on right now, this is where you want to be hunting Audino. 
Oh, 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 oh! Trapal! See, I, I knew what item that was, and I was leading into it. Max Revive! You need to quit making jokes like that. People might actually start to think I'm serious with how often I say stuff like that. I'm just being silly! Now you can tell, I did not know that trainer was there. <laughs> level 66. Said that the last time we hit level 66 as well. It's just a rule now. Pokemon Ranger always has one of these. I'll give it to you. Oh, Lumberry. You guys really are prepared for anything. Forest is alive. Something changes every day, so it's fun to patrol. You might recognize a leaf has died since you were last here. It's so dramatic. Looks like we got a pair of veterans to battle here at the end. I came here because this place feels quite nostalgic to me. But now I'd rather battle you than stroll down memory lane. Let me show you the Pokemon that I met by fate. I didn't even turn around to justify you. You just talked to the back of my head. You have, it's a full team of six. We got Ludicolo and we got Crobat. Okay, let's do it. Stoutland, gonna lower the attack of that Crobat. Could be kind of helpful. I might have Crunch or something on its side. Not really too worried about the other one though. Rock Slide is such a damn good move to do in any situation like this, and I'm a little scared of getting... Oh, no, I wasn't. Okay. So I thought Crobat might have Air Cutter or something that targets both opponents, and it would go for that while Ludicolo would hit me with a water move to get around my Sturdy. And that didn't happen. But what did happen is you swapped into a Pokemon that's weak against Rock Slide, and I happened to click it. Like Mortar, Rock Slide... It hit the one Pokemon I cared about. As long, if it hits one target, it does increase damage because there's a damage modifier put over things that hit two targets. Oh. That worked out pretty good. Hydra Pump! I knew it. I knew you were going to hit me with something. Wow. Criti Why? Why is it always critical hits? Why is it always critical hits? Always critical hits. I like the Evolifion, but why is it always critical hits? I'll just target the Leafeon, see what I can do. Quick it. I hate you. Never mind, I take back everything good I said. Stout Stoutland using strength. I learned recently that Gen 5 speedrun uses Stoutland just because Intimidate's such a good ability. It has access to all sorts of different moves. It's easy to catch at the beginning of the game. I always find that interesting when you actually don't use a starter Pokemon for a speedrun and there's just a far better choice that's available to catch early game. Sort of like the whole Eternal Nidoran versus Blastoise debate in, um in uh in pokemon red and blue speed running go heat wave is an awesome move took out that leafy on in one shot and then if you could be so kind as to finish off ludico wow you did not want that thing hanging on attack and defense down harmony gets the burn it's pretty thematic, just burning itself with what it already did. Crobat comes out, and the other is Electivire. Huh. It's kind of funny. We'll go... I'll do a Heat Wave to just spread some damage around. I think that would be a better move than just zeroing in on the Crobat, who was going to outspeed me anyway. It went for Stoutland, as it, as it be. And I know that Electivire sort of struggles with doing a lot of damage with an Electric... It has... <laughs> it has Thunder?! You taught that thing thunder. I mean, I guess that's one way to make up for lack of damage, but not the way that I would have gone about it. Crobat going for cross poison, gonna finish off Stoutland. It was nice knowing you, buddy. What's your second Pokemon gonna be? We've already fought um, on opposite teams. Maybe a Chinchino? Are you gonna be, have a normal theme team or is it gonna be your uh, standard? It is a Chinchino. So this is based on what you used in the Pokemon World Tournament. We'll do Psychic on Electivire. We know that we outspeed, and this looks like a pretty easy win. A lot easier than a lot of shorter battles that seemed like they were going to be a lot harder. Harmony gets to level 66. Shinshina tried to use Aqua Tail and Oh no, it's not over yet. I know what to do. Heat Wave. Aqua Tail's horrible, man. I feels like it misses all the friggin' time. Go. I'm gonna hang on with that. Chinchino, please. Thank you. Actually hitting. There was a Chinchino in the battle subway that I didn't show that also had Aqua Tail and it missed twice. 
So it's kind of funny how often we're seeing that in one day. Oh, I just realized Chinchino's hair looks like a heart from the back. I never noticed that. I even used a Chinchino on a team once. I still didn't notice. Not always the most observant person. I'm reminded of my childhood and chasing innocently after bug type Pokemon. It was that day in this very place that I started on the path to trainerhood. I had a feeling he was referring to Satoshi Tajiri's famous story of hunting bugs in the forest and that being the thing that inspired him to create Pokemon. That's awesome. That's so cool that they did that. You fully heal me. I can just do this. Whoa! Not a lot of EXP for that. The level disadvantage is obvious. Oh, we got another double battle here. Crap. Okay. Um, I'm just going to keep using Crustle because it's been working pretty well for us. Ta-da! Here's my cute Pokemon. You look tough. All right. My Pokemon are burning for a fight against a tough opponent. You got a champion and a gym leader against you, kid. And all you got is your pair of shorts to defend you. Whoa, you have six Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know what I was so worried about. I'll see you on the other end of this. This is a joke. This is future me once again here to tell you that I forgot a Pokemon, Leafeon. We can level up Eevee in the patch of grass surrounding the mossy rock in this forest, and it will become this. Leafeon is a physical attack, physical defensive grass type Pokemon, and it has pretty shallow moves. Swords Dance, Leaf Blade, X-Scissor, that's about your lot. It's got a lot of weaknesses. The defense kind of rounds it out to it being able to take hits sometimes, but not others. I would say it's a Pokemon with high highs and low lows. I wish that I could have trained one up, but it has that stupid thing of not having it in the main story, even though you can get Eevee just fine. I was just talking about this the other day with someone. Did anyone else think that Silcoon and Cascoon had one eye because of their in-game sprites always depicting them that way and you not being able to see the other eye until they switch to models or if you watch the anime or something? I remember being like stunned when I watched the anime. In fact, thinking it was a mistake, a bomb mushroom. That alone, I would say, is probably worth coming out here for. It's... That's an amazing item for selling to an item maniac, uh, the one that's in the camper on Route 5. Down there is the... I see the hidden grotto down there, and I can't get to it. I'm pretty sure that's the uh, area that the guy was blocking off. We'll go to the north. Here we are. Boo! Gorm. I am Gorm. I was once one of Team Plasma's seven sages. Team Plasma's finished. Despite that, you still haven't given up. Are you here planning something? Wait one moment. I have no plans to confront you. I don't mean to disappoint you, but I doubt I'm a match for either of you in the first place. Hmm? What happened to your glasses? Uh, excuse me, but that's not important. Um, I learned from an old ally's recklessness. Uh, I learned of my old ally's recklessness, and I had to come here to admonish him. But the matter had already been resolved, and this place made me think. What did we believe in that made us try to steal the dragon skull? A man who has committed a mistake and doesn't correct it is committing another mistake. Do you understand what this means? Avoiding all the mistakes is impossible, but not fixing mistakes you've made, that is truly foolish. That being said, this doesn't really concern you, does it? Well then, trainers, may you and your Pokemon be well. You know, if it wasn't for Getsus, he might have chosen another path. Or maybe not. He was the one who decided to follow Getsus after all. That aside, thank you. You helped this investigation go smoothly. This is my thanks. Come on, just take it. Upgrade! Evolves Porygon into Porygon 2. I think you can only get Porygon in this game through Dream Radar, so it's a bit of a strange reward. Not for us, though. We have access to all of the little things. TM86 Grass Knot at long last! Oh, man. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We gotta do it. This has been a thorn in my knot for way too long. This is a Grass-type special move that does more damage the heavier the target, and... Oh, no! I thought Aiden could learn it! I really did! I've been waiting on this for so long! I even mentioned it in earlier episodes! Let me look this up. What does Vaporeon learn that's Grass-type? You're gonna laugh. Vaporeon can't learn any Grass-type moves! <laughs> I don't know how I did that. I thought for so long that it learned a Grass move, and it freaking doesn't. That's so sad. I was looking so forward to this, and I... Uh, okay, so... 
as I was saying, okay, we can't go through here now. As I was saying, um, this is a sequel to the plot that happened here all the time ago. Gorm led a group of Team Plasma troopers who went into Nacreen Museum and stole a skull of a Dragonite, thinking that would be a way that they could resurrect a Dragon-type Pokemon before they, um, before they learned they had the wrong fossil and learned what Reshiram and Zekrom really were. I want to go down this way. As I think it's around here. There's an item. TM22 Solar Beam, a 120 power special grass type move that requires a turn of setup. Got a power herb, you can use it instantly. Uh, and it also works instantly if there is strong sunlight. It's a good move under the right circumstances. If you happen to have that Drought Vulpix, I'd probably consider it for the team, but I don't, so I'm not. Rare Candy. Sitting on a lot of those now. And then we can hop into the water. Where is this place? I know that there's a hidden grotto. Complain and you shall receive. It's always how it goes. This hidden grotto. Oh, I just knocked over my water. At least it's just water, so it's not that big of a deal. Gooey mulch. Ew. There are a few new Pokemon in here, and they're actually quite interesting. Amoongus with Regenerator. The choice ability for Amoongus for any battle facility. Pick it if you want a Pokemon that stalls well. Breloom with Technician. Helps out with Mock Punch, but not a whole lot of other things. Poison Heal is usually preferred due to immunity to status while holding the Toxic Orb. Beedrill with Sniper in Black 2 only. Beedrill sucks to begin with, but like... I couldn't even name a high critical hit move from memory, so according to my notes right here, I looked it up and it's Drill Run. That is all. Butterfree with Tinted Lens in white two only. Definitely the better of the duo, making it so it can always have a stab attack reliably. Butterfree looks disappointing at first for a multitude of reasons when you glance at those stats, but it's an all right Pokemon for one reason alone, Quiver Dance. It's one of the few Pokemon that actually learn it, instantly making it kind of interesting. Murkrow with Prankster. <laughs> I didn't realize we were getting to this one today. This turns into Moxie when evolving, and funny enough, this Pokemon has been immensely successful in competitive for Prankster with Eviolite. Most people don't even evolve their hidden ability Murkrows. I wouldn't do this personally for traveling around Unova, but like, it shows how powerful Prankster is if so many people have done this in the history of the game. It's just a funny Pokemon to me. Good Pokemon, huh? Good, good Pokemon. We go all the way into the corner of the forest and we find this clearing where Verizian once stood. This happened around when the hero appeared in Opelousa City with the legendary dragon Pokemon. Right around here, you would hear a very sad cry. Then a bright-eyed Pokemon would run around like the wind. I've heard it's called Verizian, and it took up against humans to protect Pokemon from a war between people. It's apparently a legendary Pokemon. Maybe it was afraid that Team Plasma's rising power would ruin the world and its friends' homes would be destroyed. It's a small explanation for why Verizian's no longer here and why it appeared before us just before the big fight. It wanted to help us as it saw the coming conflict, just as it once did in the distant past. It's a neat bit of lore, but what I find a little sad is that there's nothing special for taking Verizian here to its home. I was expecting something like that, especially because you do get that for Keldeo in the more of Ar Iceris. You at least get some kind of special interaction with the Pokemon Ranger who's there, but here, nothing. Back outside of there, I was worried for a second. Ah, uh, wouldn't it be nice if the Pokemon living in the forest like the sunbeams? And wouldn't it be nice flittering through the leaves too? I kind of lost the tune. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm saying hi, trainer. If you have a Pokedex, could you show me the habitat list? I want to know about the Pokemon that live in Pinwheel Forest. You still have many meetings waiting for you. Tell me when you've encountered all the Pokemon in the Pinwheel Forest. Oh. Okay. Uh, let me check that real quick. It's been a while since we looked at the habitat list. I got a stamp for having encountered all the Pokemon while surfing. Uh, I don't have all the Pokemon encountered in the tall grass. You know what? That's all just as well. There's Pokemon I wanted to find in the tall grass around here anyway. Vigoroth! Vigoroth, I'm pretty sure, is the one Pokemon that I had not encountered in the tall grass. No, there's still more. Oh, it's slacking. It's rarely found in rustling grass, so probably not going to find that naturally. 
Come with me! Gonna have to go back and get that so I can evolve it, and we got medals! What's number one? Bridge Enthusiast! That's for crossing every bridge in the Unova region. We have finally done it! We have lived up to the bridge fetish of the game designer. Link Battle Pioneer! So, uh, there's medals tied to doing Link Battles. And, uh, so I connected my game with Tim's game, and I forfeited a bunch of matches to grind this. And I mean a lot. I mean that I forfeited matches 82 times, and I'm still not done. But what I am done with is forfeiting the battle test 50 times. That's five battles each, 250 battles that I had to forfeit. This is the stuff I do for medals, man. I got 25 rare candies. You don't evolve if you level up through Join Avenue, so this screen it is. Scratch that, Tommy. Such a powerhouse Pokemon if used correctly. So as it turns out, I have not seen a Yanma. I've seen a Yanmega, I have not seen a Yanma. And I could only see it outside of the outside area of Pinwheel Forest at the would-be entrance. Down we go through this peaceful place, and these small children want to get their faces pummeled in to our best friends. Our Pokemon are best friends too. Our Pokemon are best friends too. They're like Tommy and Timmy Nook creeping you out with their whole saying the same words over and over again. The way that they sound in Animal Crossing 1 is actually a little creepy, if you've never been there. Plusle and Minin together in one double battle. I could do a Scald on, uh, well, let's, uh, is it more thematic to Minin because it's water type, or is it more thematic to Plusle because it's a burn? I'm gonna say the burn. And then uh, we'll do a uh, brick brick on the mine and to chop its face off. They call them head choppers whenever you have sections of roller coasters that look like they're gonna hit you in the head as you go by trump card. That's an interesting move. It does more power the lower the PP of the move is, eventually landing at, I think, 180 power. It's a normal type move, so it's not super helpful, but if you can set it up ahead of time, maybe make it run at a PP on a uh, wild Pokemon. It could be a good attacking option if you're a normal type Pokemon, you don't have a better stab move, something of that nature. It's kind of a different take on the move Last Resort, where that's based on using other moves. It just kind of, uh, to use Last Resort right there, wow. Um, where the later it's used, the better it is. Aiden gets to level 66. I'm running out of Pokemon that I can say that about. Even if we lose, we're still best friends. Never lose sight of that. It can be really hard to get, it can be really easy to get caught up in competition and lose sight of what's important. I need to fight you if I'm gonna do this, don't I? Yeah, that's a mean trainer. Hi, hi trainer. Please show me what kinds of Pokemon you're training. So let me get this straight. You're like four years old and you're gonna whip out like a level 60 dragon against me, aren't you? An okay, an Oddish. Well, you ever seen Path to the Peak? It might as well be. It is level 60, wow, I called that. People always say in HeartCold Soul Silver that trainers can't be strong in the post game because you can't have people stronger than the Elite Four running around because it wouldn't make sense, but man, this game does away with that, and it has level 60 preschoolers running around all over the place, and it's all the better for it. Don't even try that. Just gonna stay out against this. Blossom Sprite's kind of creepy. It looks like it has plus signs for eyes. I, I don't like that. I don't like getting paralyzed either. Since we're leaving the inner area of Pinwheel Forest, I ran around in there for a long time trying to get one of these to happen. Pinwheel Forest is a spot where you can get more of N's Pokemon. There is a P-Dove, that will always be sassy nature, a timber that'll always be rash nature, and a timpole that interestingly will always be modest nature. And in fact, this is the first chance that we actually have to catch a timpole for that guy in Opelousa City who wanted to see one. We should not catch it here because these ends Pokemon all have encounter rates of 1%. They're a paltry level 13, which means that you can't do the repel trick to force them to appear, unlike all of other ends, all of the other ends Pokemon that tend to be high level for their area. 
So they're among the hardest events Pokemon to obtain, and I would say the least worth it. You've had chances to get basically every one of these for a while, and you can catch much higher level ones out there. They do have 30 IVs, though, so if you uh, want to raise one for competitive, I suppose that's an option. Remember when I said there were better places to farm Audino? Yeah, right outside of Pinwheel Forest is a better place to hunt Audino. Its encounter rate on the wrestling grass out here is 85%. It's a drastic improvement. There you are! Now you will die. It's paper wings are pretty cute. I, I get that maybe on a technical level that is a bit of a shoddy way of animating wings, but man, it just looks so much cuter when they look like they're made of paper. It doesn't look good on Salamence, but it looks really good on Yanma. Got to level 67 off of that win. Indeed, I got a notification for this. That is all Pokemon found in Pinwheel Forest. It's one of those strange areas where even though it's two distinct areas with two different encounter tables, it's all counted as the same area. Nuzlockers absolutely hate interpreting the rules in this area. Uh, show me the habitat list. Oh. You don't count it because I... So there's a certain type of encounter that we can't do yet. And I didn't think that would count, because all the other times we got tested on this, it didn't. But I guess here it does. Okay, well, we'll come back later. I wanted to be able to do this now, but it just didn't want to happen. Okay. That's all for now. We have made it through Pinwheel Forest. We've made it on to the terra firma of this other peninsula. Next time on Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, we're going to make our way toward Nacreen City and see what's going on there. See you guys then. Enjoy this happy-dopey music.